Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Tuesday, May 23rd, 2017. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. After months of buildup, this weekend, the New York Pro finally took center stage in bodybuilding. And all weekend long, RX Muscle was live, bringing you all the exclusive coverage you could possibly want, and inside access from right here in the heart of the action. And beyond any shadow of a doubt, the biggest headline of the weekend was the emergence of Sergio Oliva Jr. Oliva came out and looked like a star among stars on one of the biggest stages in the sport, as he cruised to a win at one of the most exciting pro debuts we've seen in recent memory. Over on the 212 side, as we predicted a few weeks ago right here on this show, an absolutely brilliant Ronnie Raquel was able to hold serve in his season debut, punching his ticket back to the Olympia stage in what turned out to be a very top-heavy group of athletes. One of the other major headlines coming out of New York this weekend was the epic battle in the Classic Physique Division between top four Olympia finisher Breon Ansley and rookie frontrunner George Peterson. Ansley and Peterson headlined what was easily the deepest regular season lineup we've seen in the brief history of Classic Physique. But when it was all said and done, judges wound up giving Ansley the nod despite a truly valiant effort from a dramatically improved Peterson. For Ansley, the win solidifies him as one of the clear Olympia front runners again as we begin to head into the second half of the schedule. And for Peterson, this runner-up finish catapults him squarely right into the future Olympia threat conversations that we seem to start having as the season rolls around. Overall, fans of the Classic Physique Division couldn't have walked away happier from this weekend's events. And I have a feeling that things will really start to heat up as we begin to move towards some of the midsummer showdowns. Heading into this weekend's action, we said that there wasn't a hotter athlete in the men's physique division right now than Andre Ferguson. And boy, we'll rewrite. Once again, Ferguson showed up and was brilliant from wire to wire as he earned his second win of the season, besting what was arguably the best overall men's physique lineup we've seen at the New York Pro. Over on the women's physique side of things, Shanique Grant looked like an absolute juggernaut as she stormed to another easy win. If you ask me right now, Grant looks like she's going to be completely unstoppable for the foreseeable future. And anyone who is lucky enough to be in the building this weekend witnessed the birth of what could be your Women's Physique Olympia champ for the next decade. With all due respect to the great Juliana Malacarney right now, at this very moment, I think this win has to make Grant the pre-Olympia favorite. And I personally can't wait to see how the rest of the Women's Physique season begins to play out. But then again, never count out Juliana Malacarney. With all the noise surrounding the comet that was Sergio Oliva Jr. this weekend, let's not forget that he wasn't the only rookie who made headlines this weekend. In the figure division, former North American champ Natalia Soltero was absolutely brilliant from wire to wire as she soared to her first professional victory. Soltero edged out a solid effort from second place finisher Odalis Ferrara, who brought in her best look to date. Third place was brought home by the consummately brilliant Kamala Rodriguez, who's always a threat to win any show she enters. In fourth place, we had RX Muscle's very own Maria Diaz, and rounding out the top five in a monstrous lineup was New Jersey's own Kendall Stewart. For the past few seasons, the winner of the New York Pro Bikini has gone on to bigger and better things on the Olympia stage. And I sure hope that ends up being the case for this year's winner, Sheena Martin. The New Zealand native was spectacular in every sense of the word as she cruised to the biggest win of her career. Second place finisher Casey Samuel was brilliant in her own right, and she just barely managed to hold off a great effort from New York's very own Carolina Arujo. In fourth place, we had Argentine bombshell Romina Basualdo, and closing out a very strong top five with an awesome performance was Kareem Gonzalez.